All right. We got a new look at the 100 Thieves game this week. And I know you and I have talked about this before and you had a classic meme line about it. But did you watch the new footage? The two minutes of... Watch I watched it. I, look, uh, I, th I think I responded to you on Twitter. It yeah, you did. literally looks like they just copied the, the Call of Duty formula for mm. just gunplay, but mm. added some really interesting sandbox changes that looks like you can do on your own, which is like mm -hmm. fine tune them like Halo. So like in Halo, like in the in the pre in the preview we had, it was very simple gameplay, uh, yeah. much better it's than a prototype. What seen before. It's literally yeah. not even like. I wouldn't even say it's not even in production yet. I'm saying, like, this is yeah. literally a game prototype. Yeah, it looks like uh, they just wanted to do... They wanted to bring back advanced movement from Call of Duty, do a little bit of the same gunplay there. Um, and for Halo Customs, for people who don't know, like, you're able to tune everything from, like, the gravity of how high your spark will jump in the air uh, to even, uh, like, with Halo Infinite, you can now shoot, like, guns if you wanted to. Like, if you had a rocket launcher, you could literally shoot a battle rifle at somebody. Um... S s silly stuff like that that's what i saw mm -hmm. um and to your point it's a prototype so impressions of this was like that looks a lot better than what i remember seeing <laughs> the last time yeah so that's my saw it it kind of just looked like a goofy sort of like arcade shooter yeah now it's looking a little bit better but I, still still early to say do you think do you think they're actually gonna do because i i perceived it differently than than you did and there's no proof of which direction they're gonna go especially because it's like literally so early in development do you think they're gonna go the, the direction that you're talking about with having like a lot of like kind of like content community content tools like that or i perceive that as like oh this is just the developers showing off like the different things that they've tried gameplay wise i, I would say both right i think i don't think they're gonna go the community route and do all that stuff they they showed what their sandbox is capable of doing yeah uh with the demonstration of we could turn down the gravity. We can do mm -hmm. all this really cool stuff uh, with sliding with movement mechanics and stuff like that, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows that they're trying to be flexible, yeah, uh, yeah. which is which I, I think you don't really see a lot in games. Games are so linear now, especially like games like Call of Duty. Like Modern Warfare is a very linear game yeah. in terms of overall, you know, complementation to how you use guns and how you do movement. And, you know, Dead Drop in particular is a much better example of that flexibility. Mm -hmm. And you've done it like, you've, I've seen your Twitter, you're like, hey, look, get on the pipes, go up the pipes, don't yeah, just yeah. rely on just basic ladders or a fucking wheelchair ramp to get you yeah. up to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. um, that flexibility was a good sign of what they want to do. But I think what we saw most out of that was a, a framework of yeah. gameplay yeah. more than anything else. Yeah. I... I I still think in my heart because Nate Shot has been grinding Valorant so hard. I think I think Valorant is what inspired this game. I think they're gonna take like I think what this game's gonna end up being is like a round based game. And it, it, this could change any moment. It's, it's like like we're saying this is so early. Like they're obviously experimenting with a hundred different things. They got a battle royale circle in there for one of the rounds. Like yeah, who knows? I think it's gonna end up being a round based game. Like like Valorant or something like that, but with faster, basically Call of Duty style gunplay and yeah. movement. It's not going to be like a slow, like, oh, peek the corner. It's and not like, going to be like a precision shooter where no. it's just like everything's pixel related. But it which... might use that format for like the yeah. gameplay loop. I'd be interested in that. You know, Halo 5 tried doing that uh, with Breakout where it was <sighs> I want everyone it back so just bad. drops into the map and everyone had one life to play. Um, so I think that Halo 5 paved the way, at least, uh, for the advanced movement locate area. Um, and that's what makes Valorant such a good game, is that it doesn't play into advanced movement, but you have advanced utilities. Yeah, um, that you with can the do heroes and really, stuff. Yeah, you can do some really Your crazy agents. cool stuff with them. Yeah, agents. Um, but no, I, I, we still have a lot more to see when it comes to the, to the Thieves game. Uh, yeah. I really hope that we kind of, the next sneak peek we get... I is something more valuable not valuable I, something more yeah beefier. substantial i yeah. i still can't figure out and this is the part that concerns me i still can't figure out who the hell is making this game i get that 100 thieves is testing it and they're championing it and they're giving their feedback and they're helping with the design i can't figure out who's making this game which is like one of the reasons that i've been so all in on dead drop from the get-go it's like well, here's, here's a developer from Halo. Here's a developer from Gears of War. Here's a developer from Call of Duty. 
And I heard, I don't know if this is true. Somebody told me this in, on Twitch that the lead developer or the director or whatever of this game, his, his experience is on Little Big Planet. And I'm like, okay, how does that translate to, and I'm not saying he, that they can't do it. I'm just, I can't figure out mm-hmm. the talent or potential of this team based on previous history. And that's like, not saying it's not there, but that scares me. Like, why aren't they talking about this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, are they hiding this it? Is, or <laughs> This is similar to a more recent uh, ambiguity of uh, Gears 6. So, um, this woman, uh, Melissa Janowix, uh, she had originally worked on very small games. Um, not very small games, but small enough, and then recently like, climbed her way up. Mm-hmm. She worked on Gears the next Gears installment, whatever that is, for a little bit, and then she quietly left. But then she moved up into Star Wars, the next the, de- mm. the next Jedi game. And despite our concerns and distaste for Star Wars in general, um, <laughs> the game is still in a really good-looking state overall. Mm. Um, and I don't know, I would say give give people more credit where it's due. Um, game design is obviously super hard, and yeah. you and I both know that. So I want to say, like, let's give the benefit of the doubt here. I think gameplay, again, just what we saw yeah. uh looked pretty good there's you know, potential there for sure there's potential i just want to know like i'm not saying it's trash by any means and i actually went on a rant yesterday and we talked about this before too like i'm so sick of these kids showing up in the comments for games that have been in development for like six months or something yeah and people with the trash. with the oh my god it looks like roblox oh my god it looks like minecraft and it's like every game looks like this at some point you literally don't understand game development <laughs> Most of these people, like, most of these kids probably don't even cook their own meals. You know, they probably <laughs> expect, like, their steak not to look the way that it does or their hamburger uh, to look the way that it does. So, 